Well, have you ever seeded a tray and over 50% of the seeds did not germinate? Well, we're gonna fix this in this video. Hello everyone, this is Jai. Well, I asked you online, what do you want to know about starting your seeds? A lot of you said you have trouble germinating your seeds. Some of you said, why is it that your seeds take much longer to germinate than what the package says? Well, it all has to do with perfect grain condition. And that's what I'm going to cover in this video so you can achieve over 97% germination rate. So let's get started. Now, the very first thing you want to check when you're starting your seeds is to check the viability of seed. Every seed packet by law has to have a year printed on the seeds in which you can germinate and grow your seeds. Now, there are certain seeds that you can get away with even with growing older seeds. So let me break that down. So any vegetables where the seeds are very small, such as lettuce, carrots, you want to grow the seeds in which they are meant for the same year, fresh seeds. Seeds that are a little bit bigger, such as tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, okra, you can even grow them if they're two years old. And seeds that are bigger, such as squashes and pumpkins, and even cucumbers and watermelons, I have grown those seeds that were three to four years old as well. However, it's always good to start with a fresh batch of seeds so that you know that your seeds will germinate. And a lot of the seeds companies also put the germination rate on their package as well. So this one has a 98% germination rate and the date it was last tested. So if they can achieve 98% germination rate, why can't you? And that's what we're going to fix in this video. Now, if you're not sure about how old your seeds are, I recommend creating a test tray in which each row will be a different type of seed. Now, I do that in December, so I don't take my precious time in January and February in which I will be actually starting my seedlings to take that time to test those out. So this is something I do in December. So if you want to know more about it, I have some gardening chores that I do in December, so check that video out if you're interested. So if you start at least four seeds of each type of vegetables that you have and you don't even know how old they are, it will tell you whether they will germinate or not. Now the growing medium also plays a crucial role in the germination rate of your seeds as well. Now throughout the experience of gardening for 16 years, I've come up with the best growing medium to start your seedlings. Now when I first start my seeds, I use a growing medium that's composed of 70% potting soil, 20% coconut coir, and 10% compost. Potting soil is light and helps the roots to grow. Coconut coir retains moisture and 10% compost provides enough nutrients for seeds to germinate and start growing into seedlings. And also, the best way to fill your trays is to have all your potting soil in a toad, put your tray inside the toad, and scoop the potting soil right on top of your tray. And any excess potting soil will grow right back into the toad and your tray is ready. So if you use this composition of growing medium, your germination rate will increase substantially. Now the 10% compost provide enough nutrients for the seeds to start into seedlings. However, we'll be adding a lot more nutrients when the seed starts to grow and become bigger and stronger. However, that's for another video that I'm going to cover to prevent stunted seedlings. So check that out as well. Now let's talk about those perfect growing conditions. Now the seeds like perfect conditions to start germinating and grow into a seedling. Now the two things that they really like when they start to grow is heat and humidity. Believe it or not, light is not very important when trying to germinate seeds. They like the warmth, especially lettuce, tomatoes, peppers, and eggplants. All of these summer vegetables that are not really frost hardy, they love warmth. So the best way to provide warmth to your seedlings is to use heat mats. Now I put these heat mats under my trays and these heat mats keep a constant temperature of 70 degrees which is 21 degrees Celsius and this temperature is the perfect temperature for seeds to germinate and seedlings to grow. Now if you are using heat mats you have to check your trays every single day because the heat from the heat mat can dry out your trays very quickly. It's been two days since I watered and look at this tray that's not on heat mat it's still moist. However, these trays on heat mats are already beginning to dry up, so it's time to water again. Now you can use this probe to automatically shut off the heat mats if the temperature rises too high. So I have it right in one of the cells. As you can see, it's maintaining 70 degree Fahrenheit constant temperature, which is 21 degrees Celsius. Now using heat mats is not always needed. If you're starting your seeds indoors, right next to a window, and your house is already at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 21 degrees Celsius, you have the house heat on you and your entire house is insulated, you really don't need heat mats in that case. You already have the proper amount of heat that you need to grow your seeds into seedlings. Now the only thing that you need in that case is humidity and moisture. This video is sponsored by Survival Garden Seeds. Survival Garden Seeds offer non-GMO, heirloom, and open pollinated seeds.
They offer a variety of fruit, flower, vegetable, and herb seeds. The seeds come in a waterproof container for long-term storage. If you're interested in purchasing these seeds, the link is in the description of the video. Now, the best way to create humidity is to use a humidity dome. However, not all vegetables require a humidity dome. Now, there are certain vegetables that love humidity and there are others that don't. A rule of thumb, any leafy greens or any vegetables that are cold hardy or you want to grow them in spring, such as cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, leafy greens such as lettuce, kale, Swiss chard, all of these love humidity. However, if you're starting your summer vegetables such as tomatoes, okra, chilies, eggplant, all of these vegetables, even if you're starting them in January and February, they do not need the humidity dome to create excess humidity for germination. Now here's a neat tip. I use a clear spinach container to lock in the moisture and create humidity to start my seeds such as lettuce, kale, and Swiss chard. And this works really well to lock in all of that moisture and create up to 99% humidity for the seeds to germinate. So check that video if you're interested as well. This is a fail safe method to start your leafy green seeds. Now if your seeds are viable, you can absolutely achieve over 97% germination rate. Well, here's another bonus tip. When I water my seedlings, I use lukewarm water. Just lukewarm to touch, about 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 36 degrees Celsius. You don't have to be too specific, just a little bit warm to touch that keeps the ceilings warm and helps to increase the germination rate as well. Usually your tap water is about 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 12 degrees Celsius. And if you water your trays with cold water, the heat mass will have to do extra work to heat up your trays and consume extra electricity as well. So watering your trays with lukewarm water not only saves electricity, it also helps to germinate your seeds faster because there aren't any fluctuation in temperatures and the potting soil remains warm. So using lukewarm water does wonders. Now when your seeds starts to germinate and turn into seedlings, that's when you need proper amount of lighting. Now I have a separate video on how to fix leggy ceiling and it's all about light and it covers how to do that without using grow lights. So check that out if you're interested. Now to answer all of your questions, I'm going to create more seed starting videos, including how to prevent stunted ceilings and the ceilings that are not doing too well. I like to keep my videos sweet and short and right to the point. So if you like the content in this video, consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. So in summary, you have to make sure your seeds are viable and you have to provide perfect conditions to grow your seed. And this includes using heat mesh to provide warmth, using lukewarm water to keep your potting soil warm, using humidity dome or a spinach container to contain enough humidity for certain type of seeds. And once the seeds germinate and the seedlings start to grow, provide them with enough light and you will never fail in growing your seeds into seedlings and you'll always have over 97% germination rate. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.